behind every great team. There's an architect, an architect who sees certain success. And when he gets that great success, that means he could be a nominee for the Jim Gregory GM of the Year Award. Here are your three finalists this year. Well-deserved. Mark Bergeman of the Canadians, Lou Lamarillo, the defending champion, of course, with the Islanders, and Bill Zito. What a great first year with the Florida Panthers. Now, here's the man who created the award, our friend Brian Burke, getting to the point to announce the winner. The NHL General Manager of the Year was first awarded in 2010. In 2019, the award was renamed the Jim Gregory General Manager of the Year Award in honor of the late, great Jim Gregory, one of the finest men that ever worked in the NHL. This award is extremely difficult to win and is coveted by the managers. As is the case every year, we have three worthy finalists. Mark Bergemac carefully assembled a Final Four team. Bill Zito worked wonders in his first year in Florida. But this year's winner is the first repeat winner of the prestigious award. Lou Lamarello of the New York Islanders is the 2021 Jim Gregory General Manager of the Year. Congratulations, Lou. What does it mean to win an award again named after Mr. Gregory? Very humbling, Brian, and yet difficult at the same time, because this is an award which embraces whatever success the organization has had throughout the year. I accept this award on behalf of Scott Malkin and his partners who have given us all the resources over the past three years to have whatever success we've been able to accomplish. My two very capable assistants, Chris Lamorello and Steve Pellegrini, our coaching staff led by Barry Trotz, our players led by Captain Anders Lee, my very capable hockey administration's director, Joanne Hollowa, our scouting staff led by Trent Clapp, our public relations department led by Kim Auerbach and his very capable staff, our business staff, who in particular this year has been very difficult and has done a tremendous job in opening the arena after the pandemic, having to deal with vaccinated, non-vaccinated sections, and each and every day the law is changing. And lastly, and certainly not least, our fans. In my opinion, the greatest fans in the National Hockey League. I want you to know that we appreciate you. We thank you for the support that you've given us. You are our seventh player. And lastly, it's certainly uh, an honor to be associated with Jim Gregory's name.